hello welcome beautiful and wonderful people back to my channel this is king george Fox. you are very welcome quickly we're going to discuss two easy canada visas for 2024 now these two easy canada visas i won't explain here is based on my experience not on uh, visa officer uh statement based on my experience based on experience on clients and people right who have gotten their visas so i want to discuss give you two easy quick canada visas for 2024 if you want to arrive canada this year next three to six months we're looking at going for these features all right so stay to the end of this video so i can get the knowledge step by step all right let's move guys number one is a study visa yes the study visa many of us know what the study visa is where you apply for to get admission and then you move right the study route all right now i listed two parts here all right i want to discuss major learning two parts one the fully funded scholarship route you have the study visa and the study loan route all right why i'm saying this is because of proof of funds issue or because of finance so if you really want to arrive canada you should be looking at these two major uh routes right under the study visa these two major options which are the fully funded and then via study loan okay let's go now let's discuss on how to get fully funded scholarship now what are fully funded scholarship fully funded scholarship are a fantastic opportunity for students to pursue their academic dreams without financial constraints all right this scholarship cover not only tuition fees but also living expenses allowing recipients to focus solely on their studies all right now here are some key points you need to know about scholarship there are so many scholarships ongoing but i want to um, talk about this majorly for masters and um, phd right those who want to get fully funded scholarships you're looking at going for your masters and phd undergraduate can get but not fully funded it can be um, an entrance scholarship it can be some part of tuition being waived but if you see if you're looking for a fully funded scholarship it should be a master's program based on research or testes right there are a lot of scholarships in canada for masters with those going for research and testes program right and those going for phd okay you can get scholarship but there are also scholarship for course based yes might not be must not be a research program but mostly uh the fully funded scholarship is covered based on, on research based on research programs okay so if you're looking at um going for fully funded scholarship these are the key points you should note all right should be going for a master's or phd and the subject or the course program should be research or testing space all right so looking for a fully funded there are a lot of scholarship i've been on my space here now if you check my youtube channel you will see 25 top 25 scholarship you will see study in canada for free all right now i uh, i just uploaded some shots about three fully funded scholarship all going right now in canada so you just want to check that out so you can take advantage and start applying for this so there are a lot of scholarship most times i give uh, uh the information for free despite we have a mentorship program a course guide that covers the scholarship i just i decided to help some people out give it on my channel for those who are interested all right go and check it the link will be on the description below so if you are looking at coming here the study with the next three to six months you will be going through the study a very easy way yes Study is easy because there's no complicated. You're not waiting for somebody to give you a job. Apply for admission, wait for admission, focus if there's scholarship move. All right. But I'm focusing on this fully funded scholarship because this is one of the cheapest way you can go via the study route. Okay. So that's for fully funded scholarship. Like I said, the link of some of the scholarship I've given on this space on this YouTube channel will be on the description below. Description is as you are reading, you see description of this video. Click on it, you see some of the links there and then go and check it out apply so now let's go to the next now let's discuss on how to get study loan right now study loan is another way for study visa okay so if you can get scholarship you can get study loans so i'm going to be explaining how you can get study loans and all right um the company or the institution that can give you study loans okay 
Now, study loans play a crucial role in supporting students as they pursue higher education, all right? Student loans are designed to help cover the cost associated with post-secondary education. These costs include tuition fees, books, supplies, and living expenses, right? Now, this is just the definition of loan. Loan is just like them supporting you, giving you, uh, lending you money for your studies, generally, all right? For your tuition, for your books. Right, most of them cover living expenses, but most of the loan does does not cover living expenses. Some cover only tuition. Like let's say they give you your study for um for two years or for one year is around forty thousand Canadian dollars or is around thirty thousand Canadian dollars and the school and the company gave you fifty thousand Canadian dollars, all right? Or fifty thousand US dollars. So it has covered that thirty thousand dollars tuition, all right. So the remaining twenty thousand dollars which is which is remaining you can use for your living expenses and other supplies, books in school. All right. Now, what I love about this study loan is uh, the interest rate is very, very low. Yes. Imagine a company giving you study loan without collateral. You are not coming. You are not bringing your house. You are not bringing your family members. All right. As collateral to get a loan, just get admission to their proof schools, and they will give you this loan. All right. To study for. That university, then after 10 years, 10 years of study, 10 years, after 10 years of study, you can imagine that. Now you watch to get your money back. After 10 years of study, you can be paying gradually. That you're already a family resident, you're already working, and you're sorting out your loan. And most times, the government can come and waive. Uh, you guys, you heard what happened last year where the US government just waived some loan, right? Just people that are owing student loan, they just waive it for them. So they're not to pay back, all right? About 3 billion. USD, I think. Yeah. So there are a lot of people in Canada right now studying on loans. The Indians, they do this very well. Nigerians, Ghanas, let's do this. South Africans, let's do this. The Indians know how to do this. Most of the Indians, in fact, they don't need to apply for international body. They have banks. Banks that support them. Banks that help them, all right? Banks that give them loans to go and study after they finish your paper. So getting the study loan to study is not a bad thing. You know that many people are free because of the exchange rate. When you go to Canada, you find out that twenty thousand Canadian dollars is not a big money. When you go to Canada, you find out that thirty thousand Canadian dollars is not a big money. It's the exchange rate. That's how most people are afraid to go to study with. It's not a big deal. When you start earning, can I imagine a student earning three thousand to four thousand, five thousand Canadian dollars every month, depending on your skill and the kind of course you're studying. Yes, there are people that earn more than that, and those who are skillful online. Those who know how to do things online can make more extra income for themselves, right? So you can even pay back your loan before you even finish study if you are a very hardworking person. So getting a loan is not a bad idea. I encourage anyone who cannot get scholarship go for a loan. That should not stop you because I want you to achieve your dream this year when you get into Canada. I want you to travel by fire, by force. Yes, I'm saying it. So the study route is one of the easiest ways to move. It's one of the guarantee way. I know that if you have your proof of concept. Let's if you are going for your, your, your scholarship, you go for your uh, study um your study loan, right? You got this your study loan to cover part of your proof of funds. The only thing you just need to cover is your ticket, your transport. And most of the fully funded scholarship covers air tickets. Yeah, some people who pay for your ticket, they pay for your accommodation. That's why I say you should focus on those scholarship based on research. They pay you while you still study. So give you T pens. The college research, um, I'm still talking about the study loans, but I just want to break on that scholarship, all right? Let me just talk more on that. Now, there's what we call teacher's assistantship, TA, all right? You can study and still be working as assistant teacher, all right? Working as, and you get paid every month. And you also work part-time. You can imagine how much you can earn. And one thing I love about the study route is that quick, easy, permanent resident route after your study, two years study, two years uh, work experience join together I can get your permanent residence while you're in school even though you're going for undergraduate study like four years within two years I'm watching your all right your permanent residence and then before you graduate before six years you are watching your citizenship you become you can fly out of Canada go to any other country go to other top countries all right study what is one of the easiest quickest way of relocating to Canada I've talked about the scholarship explore the scholarship route if you can get uh if you don't want the loan, but if you can't get the um, can't get scholarship, go for a loan. All right. Now these are what some of the companies that can sponsor you. All right. We have Empower. Empower is one of the popular uh, loan bodies. Uh, if you are with me and you're watching me and you're listening and you're getting the knowledge, 
come on type on this comment section empower i'm going to give you a few minutes please type on the comment section so that people can be aware of this video type empower 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 loan all right empower loan okay type empower loan. yes empower loan are companies that can sponsor you they give you money to go and study either in the usa uh and canada all right these are the major countries they sponsor all right um so so if you're looking at getting a loan if you go to empire.com right now empire.com i'm going to put the, the link there on the description below empire.com and then you see the requirement you see the schools the list of schools in canada that support mostly they fund universities so if you're looking at going for universities you should apply for those schools look at the requirements all right uh before you apply there are a lot of lot of companies you have them in our course guide but i'm going to give you a few here all right you have them of course like those that have a course that you can be aware of this this information i give all right uh, so number one like i say is empire that give loans go to empire.com and then the last one second one there are many of them but i'm going to give it to you as a gift for you so um if you find this interesting and you know that this is knowledgeable please kindly subscribe all right because there are a lot of information i'll be giving on youtube from now and forth that you will not get anywhere i don't want you to miss out stay with me so we can move together i want to help you achieve your dream of relocating to canada this year 2022 so kindly hit the subscribe button all right like comment empower all right like comment empower i'm waiting for you while we proceed now the second one is called pro g b pro b g finance pro b g finance if Empower cannot fund your school, go to ProDD Finance. Search on your Google. Guys, this knowledge is something that's worth $200. People will charge you for this. I'm giving up for free here. So go to ProDD Finance. All right. It's called, it's spelled P R O D I G Y F I N A N C E. ProDD Finance. So comment it on the comment section. P R O D I G Y f-i-n-a-n-c-e all right they'll fund you they're going to fund you okay they're going to fund your studies your study if empire if you don't want to go for empire you can go for full gd finance okay now remember study loans empower students to pursue education without financial barriers ensuring a brighter future you get to pay back after 10 years of study so i explained that so check the description below for some of the companies that sponsor study loans so let me just rephrase back let me summarize number one like i said for the study without a fully funded scholarship majorly if you're going for masters and peace you can get for undergraduate not that it's not possible you cannot get fully funded you can only get to wait some part of the school institution like um uh, entrance scholarship like uh, four thousand sometimes five thousand ten thousand twenty thousand some they'll just pay your one year some two years and then if you can get any of the scholarship you're good to go okay you're good to go you're good to go but let me chip in let's say now you have to class that's why i uh, advise people if you are in nigeria right now you're in ghana and you're studying please guys please guys do your best to graduate in first class do your best to graduate so i'm talking about those that see in school you are watching me right now there are many people that have turned me up that say okay something in school and i'm preparing to come to canada now this is the opportunity for you to do your best pass your assignment there graduate in first class yes or second class upper high gpa yes high gpa you know why you will stand the chance of getting fully funded scholarship than others so if second class apply and first class they will first pick this class for you yes not that second class cannot get not that first class cannot get and it's also if you have hn you can get to but i'm talking about people that have high chances people that have high chances so do your best do that those that are studying undergraduate right now do your best to graduate with high make sure you focus well see it's only in nigeria that first class is a waste in abroad is not a waste you see someone graduating first class is looking for job how can someone graduate first and looking for job when schools are looking for them to pay you while you are studying guys don't play with first class don't play with your gpa go for first class go for excellence go for knowledge sit with people that are knowledgeable sit with people that are excellent in your class let them teach you how to do one or two so that you can pass your exams so when you graduate with flying colors i'm telling you if you graduate for a class you can come and meet me i can decide to give you this information for free yes i just want to give this out for gifts if you know you are graduating 
next this year and you're graduating with first class let's say come to my dm after you've graduated show me your gpa that you're first class i'll put that assignment to make you get scholarship fully funded scholarship that'll be my assignment all right for you i'm talking about those undergraduates right now that'll be my assignment for you that's be one of the gifts all right so if you are if you graduate with first class come to my dm my whatsapp number will be on the description below you can chat me up let's put that assignment to make you get first class to make you for that first class get a scholarship it can't be a waste all right it cannot be a waste there are a lot of scholarships but you see people that graduated with high classes high high results gpa they they, they get scholarship right all right not that you cannot get scholarship i'm not talking that you cannot get scholarship with uh, second class or class you can't get but your chances are low so i want people to get see guys don't play with education education is one of the things to become wealthy in life don't play with education those going to the study world is not a waste of money all right it's never a waste of money you cannot waste the money say you're going abroad to study it's an investment like i said twenty thousand Canadian dollars is only big because of your exchange rate it's a small money these are what people make in two months in one month in three months people who have businesses make it in a day yes so it's not a big money it's not because of our exchange rate to nigeria the way the um, uh, ego better country has done us nigeria so guys don't play with education if you're still in school focus make sure you graduate the excellent results and i will put that as a assignment once you graduate first class come on chat to me josh if search my name anywhere just for ie or on tiktok no ielts to canada chat me up i'll put assignments if you have graduated first class this year talking about people that are getting this year let's work on you getting fully funded scholarship yes we're going to do that as free offer for you okay so guys let's go to the next to the next to the next if you're enjoying this guys please subscribe at least subscribe right so you don't miss out on the next advantage okay next advantage there are many opportunities abroad there are many many opportunities i will preach it today i'll preach it tomorrow whether people talk whether people don't talk i will keep on seeing it see people hear my voice there are many opportunities uh, but do not listen to people already in canada telling you like us telling you that uh, students are like us telling you oh uh, don't come oh, don't come and they, they don't want to come back to their country let them come back go and experience the life yeah Go and express the opportunity, feel the snow, feel everywhere, feel the environment, feel the people, talk to people, meet relationships, people that will help you, destiny help us. Some of you right now, you are one way, you, have, you just need a visa to relocate to Canada, you become wealthy in life. You just need a visa to because you become profitable, you become someone that is, uh, that, that is commanding results. Just one visa. I know a lot of people, you're, 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 if your destiny is not in abroad, this video is not for you. Just skip right now and leave this video. But if your destiny is in abroad, all right, you just need one visa to leave this country. I'm telling you, a lot of people, forget about people that are not, they are not, they are not giving results. That people, all right, that visa alone gave them the opportunity to become something in life. People from the lowest version of their life become something in life because of, so don't play with, when I say people, Say travel to Canada. Some people just talk. No, they don't come. That's one of uh, there's one of the video I posted with and one of the Canadian. I think I don't know what that guy is in Canada. Was a someone just using uh, a Canadian lady picture. Was just commenting on my comment section on TikTok. Say uh, don't come here in Canada. We we are Canada city. We are suffering. If you are Canada city, you are suffering. Is that my concern? It's not my concern. You are suffering because you don't have the skills and you are lazy to work. Nigerians are hard working. Africans are hard working. Imagine uh, a Canadian city tell me don't come that because they don't want to work. They don't want to work for their fellow. You know, Canadians have pride, most of them. I'm not talking about, I'm just, forgive me if I'm sounding arrogant, but I just want to say it because of that comment, right? Some of the Canadians they don't want to work for themselves. They prefer an African. And we Africans, we are ready to work. Pay us our money. Most of them don't want to work $30 per hour. Most of them don't want to work $16 per hour. Most of them don't want to work $15 per hour. Most of them don't want to work $13 per hour. All right, but we Nigerians we are ready to work. That's why we are more successful than people already in Canada as a citizen or Canadian resident. Most of them are looking for government jobs. They don't want to go and do trades. They don't want to do uh, linear jobs. They are waiting for government jobs. How will you be waiting for that? That's why they are poor, and they are telling you not to come. But you are hardworking, and you know that the opportunities. You are a plumber. You are you are you are you are a carpenter. You are a hairdresser. You have skills. You are a tech person. You are a health person. You are a nurse. You are a caregiver. Come to Canada, you have skills, they are looking for you. I will keep on preaching this and nobody can shut my voice. Yes, on this pace, we have gotten results. When we started, we started as nobody, but now God is taking us somewhere. So I encourage you to be on this journey with me, all right? 
if you really want to achieve your dream money. I'm focusing on Canada because there are a lot of opportunities. You can I also process USA, Australia, UK, but I focus mostly on Canada because there are a lot of opportunities. Getting PR, I want to say, I don't want people to relocate abroad and then come back without PR. Yes, so Canada is one of the places you can get PR quickly. So let's go to the next guys. Now the next one, the next one is spousal visa. Spousal visa. Spousal visa. I repeated, I repeated this twice. Yes, because this is an easy way you can relocate. People do this in the backyard. You don't know what is happening. People are using this route to relocate to. Yes, spousal visa. This is the second. Now, under the spousal visa, we have the open work permit and we have the family sponsorship. We have the open work permit and we have the family sponsorship. So let's explain and let's discuss the two of them. Now, discussion on the open work permit. Now, an open work permit lets you to work for an employer. Kayo. Oh, this is sweet to me. I'm enjoying this video. I hope you're enjoying it too. I hope you're enjoying it too. I type on the comment section, open work permit. Open work permit. I want you to type. Let's type. Let's let's make this engaging. Type on the comment section, open work permit. Type, 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 type. I'm waiting for you. Type on the comment section, open work permit. Yes. As a student in Canada, you can you can help your spouse or common law partner. What is common law partner? Girlfriend and boyfriend. You can help your girlfriend and boyfriend apply for your open work permit. This permit allows your spouse to work in Canada oh, while you study. Yeah, I'm dancing here. Mm, 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 mm. Guys, people use this to accept, especially Indians. They like this route very well. Let's say me now, by the time I, um, let's okay, let me say, let me talk about last year when finally got my papers. Now, unless I get it, I have a girlfriend right now, right? And then I'm not yet married. We can prove that I am living with my girlfriend for the past six months, all right? And I'll carry her along. Or let's say I have a wife. And then, all right, I, you can carry your wife while you're applying, all right? You, while you're filling an application for me, you can add them as a dependent. But what if you do not put them at that point? You don't. You want to relocate first. After three months, you bring them. Yes, you can apply for open work permit. Yes, they don't need to stress themselves. You as a student already in Canada, like this, all right? You as already a student like this in Canada, like this, you can bring your spouse or common law partner. What you need to prove is that you're married, legally married, legally married or you can prove that you're legally a girlfriend and boyfriend proving that you have but you see this like girlfriend and boyfriend doesn't work really but spouse you can prove very well but this common love pattern there's no certification in um in the um ego better country that can prove this but if you are from the usa you are from uk you can prove that you there's some documentation that people do in court as girlfriend and boyfriend you don't want to go into that but people use this route and there's some people i don't want to say it here but let me just say it. people just do it the people just claim marriage and in the kids, all right. But if you have a spouse, you can do that. Get your, your wife over there, she don't need to stress herself. Open work permit, she come and get she'll be working full time. Yes, you will be studying and you'll be working. Why she'll be working full time and supporting you. I saw a video on TikTok where a lady was supporting her. See, guys, don't don't play with ladies that support men. A lady that supports a, a husband on TikTok. I saw that video. They were, the lady was doing cleaner and they have bought their, their house. The, the guy now become a manager, one of the bank institutions in Canada. Guys, if, if you love your wife, your life, if your wife supports you, your wife loves you. Value any man, any woman or man that loves and respects you, that's ready to invest in your education. If your dream is to relocate to Canada, guys, don't play with women that will bring you down in, in your country. Don't go and give someone pregnancy in your country that will bring you down. Focus on your dream. But if that lady is ready to support you to relocate, marry her or take her with you. Yes, you are hearing me. Marry her or take her with you. She will support you while you are studying and working. She will be working and be helping you funding your fields. See, there are good ladies in town. I'm sounding in tears. I know the ladies now will be happy with what I just said now, but there are good ladies in town. Forget about feminists or anything. You guys saw the viral video, the viral uh, tweet on Twitter, right? That um, Debbie of a lady that woke, wake up in the morning to cook for her husband. People supported her. She had she, more than 10 million there was donated to her in just three days. They also gave her TV. They also gave her a car. They rented an apartment for her. What can, guy, what kind of favor is that? What kind of favor? She just become a millionaire overnight. 
So if this lady loves you, look at how this lady is smiling on this picture. She loves that guy. Forget. So if a lady loves you, the love is sweet too. And we are going to love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are going to love. You're going to love. You're going to love. There's time for everything. But if you find a lady that's ready to invest in you, and you're already processing your Canada visa, right? Carry her along. Tell her your plans. Don't go there and go and meet an Oibo person and start doing your anyhow. Carry your African lady. Yes. The African queen. Take her. She will support you. Carry her through work permits. Open work permit. She don't need to get a job. Oh. Like I said, this she don't need to get a job. Just apply open work permit because you're already on student visa. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. Student visa is one of the quickest and one of the important visa in Canada. They, they don't joke with our students. They don't joke. Canada don't joke with our students. All right? So if you're coming to have to study with and you're maybe you're already in Canada with your study visa, and you have a lady you trust, the lady is going to love you, the lady is going to take care of you, why not invest in her? Help her with the open work permit. All right? Help her with open work permit. Let her come. Let her feel that opportunity. Let her feel that love. Let her feel that, that sense of rumor that, ah, this is how the white country is. Do you understand? Invest in relationship. That one, um, I'm talking to guys too. Guys, focus on your dream. Any lady that wants to kill your dream, leave that lady. Whether she's beautiful or she has, she's packaged. Leave her alone and go and meet someone that's ready to invest in you. People like us, we have given up relationship because we know what we are looking for. We have given up a lot of relationship. Not a lot, actually, but some uh, crush. Not even a lot. There's a lady who crush on, but we said, this is not our line, oh, guys. We quit. We quit. Because our mission is far. We need a lady that we invest in us so we can invest back into that lady. Um, is somebody hearing me right now? <laughs> we need a lady that we can invest so we can also invest back into that lady too. See, that is what they call love. Love is a mutual uh, agreement, right? We invest together, we invest in you, we invest in you, we go together, we help our families together. That's how we become profitable in the society. Indians do this. Nigerians, Africans, let's do this. Ghanians, let's do this. South Africans, let do, let's do this. Let's love yourself. If you find a lady that's ready to invest in you, help her. When that lady is trying to relocate because of this, route, don't help her. Oh. This is a major focus just to relocate. You will know. Whether a major because some ladies, the people that do this opportunity for them, when the time they arrive in Canada or they arrive USA, they will just divorce their partner and go and find a, a white man. Don't help that kind of lady. Yes, I'm saying don't help that kind of lady. But if this lady is very sincere, she's loving, Help her from that trenches, my brother. Charlie, help her. Help her up. All right? Give her the opportunity. Come on, all right? Study on this parcel visa with you. Give her the opportunity. If you get your visa, give her dependent visa. Let her come with you. Let her come with you. All right? Let her come with you. Let her come with you. This permit will allow her to work. She can get a job for any employer. Working full time for you. Why you study and working before you guys graduate? You, are, you guys are big boys. You are big ladies. You cannot get married to her. Give children, all right? Guys, yeah, people, you see, don't sleep on this spousal visa. People don't know about this. Oh. Spousal visa is another easiest way. I'm talking based on experience, based on my experience. Yeah, when you apply for this kind of visa, it's approval states, approval. Blah, blah. Yeah, because you already have your your, your study visa. Do you understand? Let's say now you get a scholarship or you go through the loan and you get to study visa proof. You have a girlfriend. You guys can marry quick, quick. Bring her along if you love her or she know that she's, if you know that she's, but if it's lady too, I'm talking to you guys, ladies, if you have got your visa and you know it, the guy can invest in you, the guy loves you, let's say to invest, not to leave you for another one, not to go and cheat. Invest in that guy too. Give him that visa. Let him come and meet you too. You guys will hustle where, make your life better. You come up from the trenches. This is how people, this is how, this is how we come up from the trenches. We are focused. A lady is not ready to invest in me. I'm not ready to invest in you too. And we can know. Be discerning a lot. Read about relationship. Read about love. Love is a good thing. But when you fall in the hands of the bad people or you fall about on fake love, that's when you have you have that's when people have heartbreak. And people say, I don't want to love again. I don't want to love again. My brother, love is sweet. Love is so sweet. Find the, the loving partner and you guys will move. Alright? So don't sleep on these guys. Spouse of visa. Spouse of visa, open work permit is number one. If you're a student, you can bring your spouse, you can bring your common law partner, and this is your girlfriend or boyfriend to Canada on open work. You don't need a job, you don't need to apply for a job to get it. Right? Once you get your study visa, you can apply for open work permit just for you to prove that this person is married to you 
or it has been living for you for the past six months, but I prefer spouse, spouse is easier with his wife or husband. Alright? Let's go to the next. Now, the number two on that spousal visa, we have the family sponsorship. Family sponsorship. Okay? Family sponsorship. Now, this is for those who are already Canadian citizens or permanent residents. Now, you can sponsor your spouse directly to get or partner or dependent children to become permanent residents of Canada. This one, they get permanent residents directly. They don't need to get an open work permit. All right? You get a permanent resident to come to Canada. Family sponsorship. Family sponsorship. Somebody type on the comment section, family sponsorship. Type on the comment section, family sponsorship. All right? All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I want people to engage on this. They let them be aware. This is the two most easiest Canada visas to get in 2024. 2024 is a year of relocating to Canada. Guys, do not sleep on this visa. Study visa, spousal visa. Study visa, spousal visa. All right? If you are a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident, you can sponsor your spouse, partner, or dependent children to become permanent resident. Of Canada, all right. Let them come. Let them come. If you're already Canada, this is for old people that are, this is a requirement. So if you're a um, Canadian citizen, you can sponsor your spouse. Okay. So let's say now you have your husband has uh, has located left you for about three to uh, four years right now, and he doesn't know how to bring you, and he's already a Canadian permanent resident or citizen. Tell him about this. Send him this video, please. Share this video to him. Let him watch it. He can bring you on permanent residence as what through family sponsorship. There's another visa on the spousal visa. Family sponsorship. Family sponsorship. Tell him, I want to come to see you, honey. I'm tired of staying alone. Bring me through family sponsorship. Very easy to apply. All right. Take some months to get. Within three, four months, you have gotten your uh, permanent residence. Okay. So, this for people who are already Canadian citizen or permanent resident. Now, let me recap on it. We talk about the study routes, which is one, two, fully funded scholarship and true loans are listed and I explain. I also give you the companies and the links down in the description below. You can go there, check about them. And then we talk about the sponsor visa. We talk about open work permits. All right. Now, I'm going to put the link of the open work permits and the family sponsor so you can check. All right. The requirements. So you can proceed with that. Okay. That's for that. So, guys. Don't sleep on this. Agents are watching me right now. The agents are people are working. In, travel agents are watching me right now. And they will come and say this thing to you for millions of naira. Do not spend millions of naira because you are relocated to Canada. It's not, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth spending millions of naira. Service fee, not even proof of phone. Service fee. Giving somebody like 10 million. Give somebody. I saw someone um, giving an agent 15 million. The person had to meet me. He, cho he chatted me up. And I, okay, and I said, okay, who is the person is charging 15 million? What are the things the person told me? Once I heard about that, I know that this is a scam. The person was telling her work permit. Work permit is being given, all right, in Canada. All right, in Canada. So don't get scammed, guys. Watch video, be ask questions, pay for mentorship, pay for knowledge. Small amount of money, 50 to 100 dollars can get you a mentor like me. Yes, can get me a mentor like me. I'm proud to be a mentor, mentoring hundreds, 200 of students. All right, but that's by the way. So, guys, use that and learn this. Guys, learn this thing. People, agents are learning this and they come and selling to you millions of naira. Learn these ways, all right? So, that you can come, don't spend money anyhow. Don't get scammed. Be knowledgeable, browse, research, research, browse, research. All right, so that's for that, guys. So, now, like I said, the two we have the open work permits, which is you as a student, you can bring your your dependent, which is your spouse, or um, your girlfriend and boyfriend, which is common law partner. Okay. Now, for the family sponsorship, is majorly for spouse, okay, partner, to, and dependent children. It can also be your children through this family sponsorship. Those are related to you by blood. All right, can come as a family resident. I love this with They come directly. Imagine they're getting their family resident quickly. Okay. So now. We've come to an end, not really an end, it's a gift for you in this video, but let's pray first. I want you to connect. I've not done this before, but I want to do that. I'm led to do this. Let's pray. For those expecting their visas, can you connect with me here? I don't know whether you're a Muslim, you're a Christian, you're a Buddhism, any of the relig uh, religion you are, 
But let's pray and know that there is God that answers the God that gives this us. Above all your knowledge, above all your applications, the answers to your prayers is God. Yes, God can touch the heart of Jesus. Even though you made mistakes, God can touch the heart of God can favor you the eyes of Mr. Wilson. So let's pray. Dear Lord, we come before you today with a humble heart, seeking your divine favor on our visa applications. We pray that you grant us the opportunity to travel and explore new places. We ask that you guide us through the application process and help us to complete the forms correctly and without any mistakes. Father, we pray that you give us the patience to wait for your perfect timing. We also pray that you bless the consular officers, which are the visa officers, who will be revealing our applications. Let them grant, grant them wisdom and assignment. Father, we pray that you grant us favor with the consular officers and that our applications are approved. Father, we pray that you keep us safe during our travels and that we return home safely. We ask all things in Jesus' name. Amen. May God bless you and grant you success in your visa application. I wanted to testify the same. All right? I wanted to testify. It's my goal to help at least 500 persons in Canada this year, 2024. I pray that your visa is being approved. You are expecting your visas to be long overdue. Your, your, as you watch this video, as you pray with us, your visa be granted in Jesus' name. So here's my gift for you guys. For those that stay to the end, the end of this video, here's my gift for you. Now, do you need help? All right? Do you need help with your visa application via our mentorship or your, your admission, all right? Via our mentorship or professional service? I have helped some persons here get admission. You can check. Uh, some of our results there is in the cheapest tuition in Canada. You can check that video. You see some of our results there. All right. I've helped some persons here get admission and visa application via our professional service. Now, our professional service will only apply admission and visa application. But if you're looking for scholarship, you're looking for a, a loans, all right, you can get my mentorship via our scholarship guide course and visa guide course. With this visa guide course is to help you step by step, uh, show you the way around applying for scholarship, give you updates of scholarship that links in our course guide. You can apply, all right? But if you need professional help, like me applying for you, you will apply admission and visa application. But if it's loan and scholarship, you can get a scholarship guide, and I wish you all the best, all right? The link will be to access these services will be on the description below. You can contact me too on WhatsApp, plus 234, right? 8104373611, or email me, I Joshua, or you click on the link on the description below, you chat me up directly on WhatsApp. So I wish you guys all the best. Guys, share this video to someone out there, all right, to save someone, to help someone who wants to relocate to Canada. The two most easiest Canada visas. Bye for now. See you in the next video. Charlie.